What's up guys? Today I'm doing my February beauty favorites. It is a very short list this month, but that's okay because there are definitely some really special things that I wanted to share with you. First of all, if you're noticing something funky with my face, I tried my hand at fake freckles and I think it was a fail, but you might not even be able to see them. So, also a fail. My first favorite is something I have mentioned before. It was in my January favorites, but it is a different color. So this is the Essie, I don't even know what the what this line is called. You know, the one in the funny bottle that's supposed to be like gel-like, and this is what I'm wearing on my nails today. It is in the color Bubbles Only, which is such a pretty red, and you guys know I love this formula. It literally lasts like upwards of seven, eight, nine days without any chipping whatsoever, at least on me. And that's very hard to come by, I find, in like normal drugstore nail polishes. This next favorite is kind of a weird thing. I don't usually buy cosmetics from like clothing brands, but this is from Forever 21 and it is a matte lipstick in the shade Copper, although I would argue that it's pretty much just a straight up nude. I just really like the consistency of this. It's really creamy, but it's really matte and like kind of dries, like powdery at the same time. This color is really nice as well. It definitely needs a lip liner, especially if you have fair skin, because it can tend to just kind of blend in with your face and your lips. Um, but I really like the color and I'm really impressed with this consistency, so I'm definitely going to pick up other colors. This is a bronzer. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 02. Um, and it's just a really lovely bronze -er. I like this because even though it says it's matte, I wouldn't say it's actually matte. It's actually more of a satiny, sh sheeny color but it just has like a really nice kind of undertone to it. In a way, it's kind of orange, but at the same time, it's still very neutral and bronzy. This next product is from The Body Shop, and it is the Fresh Sorbet Blush in the shade Cuban Watermelon, which is like a super bright uh, pink, although it doesn't get this bright on your skin. It's definitely like a jelly mousse-like texture that you can just rub onto your cheeks to give you a little bit of cheek color. Definitely like blends in really nicely and looks really natural, but it's just it's so brightening Like there's something like really special about this and it smells amazing <sighs> I've been really into exfoliating exfoliating I've been really into exfoliating lately um, because I do have like some dry flakes on my nose And I just find that the exfoliators that I have just like haven't really been cutting it and I remembered that I had this Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub, and it's just basically like a sugary, basically just feels like sugar. And what I've been doing is like scooping a little bit out and mixing it with like a very creamy moisturizer, and I've just been like exfoliating with that, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to. Lush is like a pretty safe brand, I would say. I mean, I guess if you're putting it on your lips, it's probably safe to put on your face, but because like the sugar in it is so fine and I can kind of customize like how weak or strong I want it, my exfoliator to be, I love this. It's been working really well. Plus it has like a little bit of peppermint oil in it and it just like makes my like face feel really, really fresh. This is a hair product. This is the Affigy Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor. Basically kind of like a after shower spray you can put in your damp hair. Um, at least that's how I use it. At first I wasn't really that impressed with this. Used it a few times, I was like, eh, I don't really know if it did much. But actually, I really like it now. And I don't know what changed, I think I just needed to like give it a solid second chance to use it. And I mean, I've used this for like literally three weeks straight. And I, and I don't wash my hair every day, but like it's barely gone. So I mean, you really only need a little bit. It's not the kind of product that makes your hair feel like oily and slippery and like, overly conditioned or even like that soft. It's just like a very lightweight, like very watery consistency that just like after your hair is dry, like it just feels like stronger and smoother without that like residue of like an oil. Uh, by the way, I bought this at Sally's Beauty Supply. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara and 
I've mentioned this a few times as well, but I just want to reiterate how awesome this stuff is. I used to be diehard L'Oreal vol voluminous original, like that was the only one for me, but th I think I like this better. I'm wearing it on my lashes today and I really like it because it doesn't flake off. And I find that sometimes with the L'Oreal one, it can flake off near the end of the day, but this one always looks really good at the end of the day, like just as good as if I had just applied it. But I just really like the wand. It's small, but mighty. And it just gives you length and volume and really, really black at the same time. This is the Revlon Color Stay foundation and this is such an oldie for so many people like this is like the OG of like foundations on YouTube and even though it's not my absolute favorite foundation I just wanted to give it a quick little mention because I have and had the old version before they came out with a pump and I feel like they really did change their formula when they added the pump to the packaging because this one is so much smoother and like thinner in consistency but still has the coverage Whereas I find the old one like kind of thick and a little bit harder to blend. This one just like has a much smoother and like runnier consistency, which I totally prefer. I have the shade buff and I find that it's really good for kind of that in between like really pale skin tone where it's like you're not super, super ghosty, but you're also like not even like an NC15 in MAC like it's kind of that weird like in the middle and it's not pink or peach whatsoever but it's also not really yellow it's a very very true neutral bone color um, and I do have the combination oily one because I have oily skin if you have dry skin they have a different formula for you for that okay my next two favorites are actually handbags so this purse is super plain. I got it at H&M and I actually have it in two colors because I love it so much. So this is the black one and it has kind of like a beige inside. Just a really simple tote, like the buckles on it are gold, but it really doesn't have much in terms of um, details. It just is very plain shopper tote bag with the two small handles and then like the longer strap, which I really like. And then this I got at the thrift store. It's just like a little mini backpack. And because I got it at the thrift store, I can't like tell you where I got it or anything. The brand on it says The Sack. I've never heard of that in my life. Um, but I just love the idea of like a tiny black backpack. I pretty much use it as my purse when I'm like going out anywhere. It's just so comfortable and so easy. Anyway, that is the end of my February favorite. Please give it a thumbs up and you can always subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I do new ones every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.